in the kitchen one more time with Chef Ricotta cooking program guys Basically we want to show you how you can make yourself a nice lovely barbecue chicken at home Very simple recipe guys, you can make this at home Use your barbecue sauce and your seasoning where you normally use to marinate your chicken The only thing different is because I'm using red onion but it's the way all your marinated meat have a key to do it, you know what I mean? Make your chicken come out lovely and nice. Cut back on salt and sugar, it's very important. Um, that's what I'm gonna start to bring up now, or you can cook with less salt and sugar. So next thing guys, I wanna simply say to you, remember, is Nation Jamaican National Heroes Day today in Jamaica. And remember, we have to support the heroes then, you know what I mean? We have to support a part of it because I'm a Jamaican. That's where I was born and that's where I was raised and grew up and you know what I mean a few years of being in London don't make it a different I'm a Jamaican. So guys, big up every Jamaican and remember support the Heroes Day guys. It's, it's beautiful. Today's Heroes Day in Jamaica, you know a lot of things gonna happen in Jamaica today. But anyway, remember barbecue chicken. You can serve it anything you like. Enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. See you next time. Bye bye. I love the welcome back again guys. Today we're gonna have Chicken on the menu again one more time. I got one, two, three, four, four pieces of leg and thigh pieces. I just went to the meat shop and I brought some fresh chicken. Get the skin clean off. Wash it off into some white vinegar. Are right, you gonna use lemon juice? Whatever you like to use, you can use it, guys. But basically, I have some season, natural season. I got some spring onion red onion and some thyme and ginger and some garlic I just prep it up um, basically you can do the same thing of, of, of at home if you don't have red onion you can use white onion because I have a lot of red onion I want to use them up I'm gonna simply bang pop it straight inside of my bowl like this guys straight in the bowl no time to waste um, I got some soy sauce I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce on it guys Bring in the flavor of the chicken. Really nice. I'm gonna make you a nice, lovely barbecue chicken. I did the barbecue pork the other day, and it was really good. Basically, one teaspoon of paprika. Let's put a little pinch more. That's the paprika. One teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. One teaspoon of bob. This is barbecue barbecue season, guys. Really nice barbecue season. I don't know if you can get that at your country. This is chicken season. I'm gonna use one teaspoon. Nice one. And then next, what we're gonna do? I have some barbecue sauce which I left over from the other day. I'm gonna use some of this sauce on it. Nice one. Um, simple pop a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever oil you have. Can use. Nice one. Make sure you got on the gloves and simple. Give it a nice little rub like this. But this chicken we're gonna do it instantly, guys. You can marinate your chicken and put it on for two hours if you do like. Look at the color of the chicken inside of the bowl. Looking lovely and nice. So basically, preheat your oven first. That's one of the main things you need to do, is to preheat your oven. That's my... This is my chicken tin sheet right here. I just lay a piece of a grease proof paper inside of it. Lay on it like this. But as you can see, exactly what Chef Ricardo been doing right here, guys. And this can serve with some rice or rice and peas, whatever you like to serve it with. Honestly, it goes really well with anything. So basically, pop this inside of your oven, gas mark 7 or 8 or 25 to 30 minutes inside of your oven 
and after it bake then we're gonna go to the next level or you can get your chicken looking lovely and nice inside of the oven so guys I'm just gonna put it straight inside of the oven looking so lovely so far and really nice the color is right taste is right I don't need to add any salt because most of these ingredients do got salt already so guys enjoy it um, basically if you want to leave your comments it's really brilliant for Chef Ricardo that's we can know where we stand um, basically coming up next I got the pot roast beef coming up I know we get the request for the pot roast beef so I want you to look forward for that recipe so enjoy it nice and lovely I just take them from the oven guys looking so lovely and nice let's take them off of this piece of a grease proof paper and I'm gonna give you the tricks and the the behind the scenes what you can do when you make such a nice lovely chicken like this at home guys I know it's not easy but I'm telling you you will learn this recipe from Chef Ricardo and you can add up the same thing and do it at home and make the family feel well so guys this is one of the main things which we need to do until we make such a nice lovely chicken like this one remove it off of that lovely sauce and thing we're not gonna use this one but look at this now guys we're gonna pour off this one and we're not gonna use that back that grease proof paper so just look at this at simple look away like this guys nice and lovely so right here is the chicken i just take it off the grease proof paper clear up my chair wash tray and wash it out lovely and nice ready for the chicken basically i got some barbecue sauce right here which i have left over i didn't make up this before um basically there's a video on YouTube you can tell you how to make this barbecue sauce which I did a couple days ago. Um, the barbecue sauce is just of you can get the barbecue sauce at any local shop I just add like a little bit more honey and some more more soy sauce browning and some more bits and pieces inside of it but you can use your barbecue sauce what you use at home to do your chicken is fine but it's just a way you, you marinate the chicken and get that beautiful taste and flavor from it. That's the, the key point. That's what we are looking for. So basically, that's the barbecue sauce right here, guys. And I'm gonna simply dip my chicken in it just like this. And place it on a nice lovely piece of a greaseproof paper. The best way to do your chicken is this way, guys. And finish it off in the oven for another good, nice 10 10 to 15 minutes on a medium size eat yes mark seven and r8 is good for it for 15 minutes but as you can see all the chicken looking different now looking lovely and nice that's a barbecue chicken can go with anything you like at home if you make yourself some plain rice rice and peas or some you know I me mean, coconut rice or whatever you like you can serve it with so I'm gonna serve this with some coconut rice because I have some coconut rice which I just made a while ago. Um, to make coconut rice is on my YouTube channel. Tell you how to make it, guys. It's very easy and simple. All you need to do is just put on some rice and add the coconut cream to it. So remember, back in Jamaica today is black um, is era's days. Um, you know what I mean? Remember the era them fight for us all over the years, fight for black people. You know what I mean? Slavery and everything. So we are, we love the country, and today is era's day in jamaica so guys hopefully this would be a benefit to you and your family of all we do so the little rest of sauce i might just pour it straight on top of it like this getting all the flavor and everything out of it really nice so guys now we're gonna put back this inside of the oven for a nice good 10 to 15 minutes inside of the oven and a gas mark seven or eight enjoy the recipe see you next time Nice and lovely. Look at this, guys. This wonderful, nice, lovely oven baked barbecue chicken. Straight from the oven just now. Looking lovely and nice. And as I said before, you can serve this with some rice or you can serve it with some ready you like. You can have it on its own with even some bread or just some barbecue chicken. If you feel for some barbecue chicken, guys, leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Tips and ways for Christmas. Or you can do your Christmas barbecue chicken. Um, basically guys request what you like for me to make for you we're coming up soon with the pot roast beef 
Hey guys, listen. Yeah, there's a pot roast beef going to Make sure you have a Dutch pot because you need a Dutch pot to make pot roast beef, guys. Um, that's one of the key points. So guys, enjoy it and see you next time. And this one from Chef Ricardo on the team. Bye bye.